Welcome everyone to a brand new War Thunder video, this time on the G91R3. So essentially what this is, is kind of like a G91R4 that the Italians I believe have, um, although it is Portuguese, but instead with the two DIFA cannons over here. So the DIFA cannons are far far better than the 50 cals, and you have to fly out with the 50 cals and jets with the CL13, the 40 sabers in Japanese tree, and uh, for jets they are well they're very difficult to use they just don't do the damage you want but these d4 cannons do the damage but as we'll see later they're not as reliable as other 30 millimeter cannons like the Aidens or the nr30s so in terms of speed you can see here that the top speed is um 1052 kilometers per hour now this particular g91 my one um has only the compressor although i'm actually quite close to the engine i didn't notice that that's cool um uh, so it has a compressor and 1052 kilometers per hour at 9.0 is okay. It's not exactly the best, but you know you can get the job done. Um, but where where this plane really shines is its maneuverability. So like the early G91s, it can you know pull some maneuvers. I mean there are, there might be a few planes which can pull more than it, but in general it is a pretty maneuverable plane, and especially in combination with the DFA cannons, uh, they can do like a lot of damage. So look at the modifications. We see here, you know, you can have the compressor engine, just normal uh, jet modifications. But what you also get is the Nord missiles, the guided missiles. Now, those are kind of a mixed bag. So you can see here that I've went solely for them at the beginning, and this was like even with, um, like, I actually bought Golden Eagles to get this, and I was disappointed for two reasons. Because firstly, apparently they nerfed them. And secondly, they actually are pretty tough to use. Um, so, yeah. But, however, if you do want to use them, they are pro this is probably the best plane uh, to use Nords for a combination or different reasons. So, first of all, you get four, unlike other planes which have the Nords, such as the G91 R4 and the Super Mystere. But you also get, you know, good backup cannons as well. Like I know the Super Mystere has good cannons, but... Uh, you have this as well. You also get a pretty decent team. German teams tend to be quite competent. And so if you want to test out the G91 and not the G91, the Nords, then this is the perfect thing for you. So let's get into some stats. Okay, so as you can see, we have our four planes here. We have in the bottom left the G91 R4, the Italian one. Then we have the G93, G91 R3 on top of it. Then to the right is the MiG-17 AS. And to the bottom left is my F40 Sabre. You can immediately see that the G91s have a pretty fast acceleration off the runway, not as good as the MiG-17, as for the F40, and this is what I noticed as well, um, actually flying it, it is slow, look how slow it is. So just like with before, I cut the recording as soon as the planes reached 800 km per hour, and the G91s are similar speeds but I think the G91R3 is just that little touch faster and the thing is I believe the G91R4 is spaded and my G91R3 isn't. The MiG-17 however seems to be taking the show which is quite fast. Now something I've said wrong in my previous video is that the MiG-17 AS doesn't have afterburners. Uh, it does have air-to-air -air missiles but no afterburners so unlike the J5 which has afterburners and air-to-air -air missiles. And of course, it has already reached 800 km per hour with the G91s not too far behind anytime soon. That's the R4 and R3, then R4. And then we have the F40 Sabre. Nice and slowly, here we go. Yeah. And this is again something that I noticed uh, when actually playing this Sabre is that it is slow. And it's 9.3 as well. So, I mean, it definitely shouldn't be 9.3. We also have um, a clip of me actually landing the G91. I noticed that um, uh, as it has parachutes, or not a parachute itself, but like a chute. So when you land, um, you don't need to land, like, it's easier to land. You just look here at how, like, small my actual landing area is. Sometimes you, know, you need to use the whole runway with this plane. I'm approaching at a pretty good speed for a landing. I'm here just before the runway, shoot opens, and then uh, use the cannons as well, and 
and you, that's very short. And you might be able to even land in um, the helicopter um, pads, the runways, um, in an actual you know, mix RB. So here we are, this is I believe my first game in the G91, like first ever game. And uh, essentially I was just having a wrap, like look around, how to fly it. And at this point I haven't really customised some of the guns or the cannons, which I said, um, as I said, they are quite good. They're better than the 50 cals you get from the R4. Uh, and they are fun to use. As you can see me here, as soon as I start shooting I spray a lot. Um, because I thought the velocity or the lead was kind of similar to the Aidens. And they are, but not quite. Also, I was used to the Swift, the cannons are under the fuselage in the back, and then this is the side, so... I um, mean, yeah, I get the kill, finally. As you can see, they do the work. Um, most of the time, you get the one-shot kills. Uh, but, uh, as you might see later on, you do get sometimes hits. Now, in terms of, like, reliability for 30mm cannons, I think it goes... Uh, really, Difas, then Aidens, then NR30s, in terms of just... If you shoot at someone, how likely you are to just immediately get the kill? You see, it is R3 coming. I thought I'd dodge him, um, but I was far too slow. Uh, I should have gone for the hold on there myself, but I didn't. So we are in the second game, as you can see. And you can, you can all see that I'm taking out minimum load on uh, uh, this. I usually take out minimum load now for jets just because their gameplay is far faster. Uh, you might as well take out minimum load. But there are some maps where I don't take out the minimum load, such as um, uh, alternate history of Spain, Afghanistan, Berlin, uh, Sumer. You can also see that you get updated quite a few times to fight, uh, you know, the T2s and the MiG 19Ss. But those planes are, you can easily fight them in the G91 just because they are so fast and you are so maneuverable. So I'm planning to make a MiG 19S video soon. You can just see, as soon as something turns and you're travelling fast, it's over. Like, nope, you can't get some. You'll see how fast they're like. Look at that. Neom. Such a nice plane, the MiG 19S. It's another dark horse, I think. Uh, everyone talks about the T2. All the MiG 19 PT got buffed, but uh, that plane, the MiG 19S, is just. I would really like to see a matchup full team with MiG 19S versus um, full team of the MiG-19 TPT. If you see lag like, spikes like this, um, it's just me alt tabbing out. Um, I think I was just closing a few applications just to get rid of lag. So apologies. But it makes for a smoother video um, now. So I recorded this video a few days ago, so I can't remember exactly how it goes and why I haven't cut it. Um, but as you can see, it does catch speed quite quickly. It's um decent acceleration. Like, if you're going to say something about this plane, it's not that it accelerates well or so it has a fast speed like okay, it has you know okay acceleration and top speed, but what it really really shows is its maneuverability and also its armament. Now again at 9.0, you know having those Difa cans isn't exactly, you know, amazing. But, you know, they do do the damage. It's not like the 50 cows you see on the Sabres apart from the F2. Um, which I'm so happy I'm not using right now because they are such a pain. As you can see, I'm approaching this G91. Here he goes uh, for a head-on. And he goes for a crash. The classic. Well, he dies actually, then uh, the friendly G91 crashes. Um, is obviously the well-known top tier um, tactic so I believe in this game I get a few kills and what you soon find out is that 125 rounds per cannon on the defa cannons is very little now I am used to again the Aidens and usually with the Aidens you have a fair bit of ammunition so she's 125 anyway for the hunter it must be because 600 rounds for four cannons um, but usually, like in the Hunter, in this Swift, I spray a little bit, and so, you know, I thought I, I can also spray a little bit today. And, 
you can spray more than, for example, the Mig 19 and the Mig 21, but not quite as much as you can with uh, like the P47, or the F4. So you see, yeah, I'm going for the G91 R3, the enemy one, not the friendly one. And you know, he's dodging. Um, as soon as get him, I see his damage, and I'm like, oh, is he okay? No, okay, he's dead. Now I try to play um, like a nice guy and not go for the awkward kill. So if someone's on fire and obviously you're to die, I'm not like, okay, yeah, this is my this is my shot at it. If only more people actually flew like that. Because how many times I've got people on fire, I'm like, okay, he's dead. And then some guy comes in, like, oh yeah, I'll just shoot him and get the kill. Like, go away. Get your own kill. So you can see here the G91 in the vertical does kind of struggle as do a few jets now obviously things like the MiG 19S like if you go in the vertical you can probably just stay at that angle for I don't know up to 700 kilometers um, again watch my video coming out soon on that because there's a very good example in this map actually I believe of where I just go vertical and go pium all the way up so you see there's a G91 R4 here and I mean you see, I'm not really playing the G91 as it should be. This is when I still had my free repairs, so I'll be like, you know, testing things out. Does this work? Does this not work? But you see, this G91 R4 goes across, and, you know, I don't get the shots. Where did I get the kill in this video? Because I don't put out videos unless I get the kill. Or a kill. Might be here. I guess I hit. So, this is what I mean about the consistency. So, yeah, you get the those one shot kills, but. I mean, this video would be longer if all my hits were kills, um, but it isn't. Um, but I turn inside this guy. I don't know why I turn inside him, whether it's just his bad piloting. Well, I don't say bad piloting, but his piloting or the fact that this is the R4 and the G19 R3 just turns far better. Um, I'm not too sure. But as you can see, he goes up and uh, I uh, still spray and I eventually get the kill. As you can see there, like I got the hit before and when I hit him that time it was a complete obliteration uh, now I am still I believe using the stock rounds I think half of them are AP but it's with how fast these fire and um, how uh, you know, uh, I don't know I don't think I should be getting hits personally and I see this F40 going and I again get a hit um, which is kind of funny and uh, I spray some more and get a crit and like oh, should I go for him some more their 40s and other sabers they do some tricks and you know go all over the place but as you can see he was he was like about to die but no so at this point I'm like okay should I go back to base I have 44 rounds left but then I thought uh, I believe this is the last guy uh, there was one other guy and uh, you know, there's not really much point in me going back to base and then landing and then the game ending. So I might as well try and get a kill with those 44 rounds. You'll see my fuel is getting low, although I'm only at half fuel. I'll bet I'm struck out. See this G91 and I want to go for a head-on. But as you can see, I don't go for like just a head-on. I go for a confirmed kill head-on. And we both die and crash into each other. Because obviously this guy um, knew that the game is over for him, so you might as well get a kill, and that I understand. Uh, so yeah. So this is the third and final match, I believe. So again, you can see I'm properly speeding in. Is this a final match? I think this is a final match. Probably speeding in, and you can see uh, just how fast this game is. And the game plane. This is a 900 kilometers per hour plane. And I took off like a fair while back, but well, I'm already like properly out there. I have been down tiered. You do get down tiered occasionally in this plane, um, but it depends really. So, for example, with 9.0 in that allied um, side, you never get down tiered really. Just because everyone wants to play the new planes, the F4, the MiG 21, so you're just more likely to play those kind of planes. Okay, so again, uh, I recorded this a couple of days ago, I don't quite remember what happened here. But as you can see, I think I do remember actually. I rush in, but the whole team, the enemy team, have climbed up. So I'm like, okay, fine, I will climb behind them. 
and you can see that I'm, doing, I'm not doing the most efficient climbs but 400 kilometers per hour after like 3000 meters and I was just testing out the air brakes there just looking how they you know how do they look and I am gaining speed as you can see I put on smoke because I, I don't know I want to make a name for myself okay but G9 to 1 all in all I think it's quite a nice plane it's definitely it's one of those planes where I don't know whether it's necessarily any good at one particular thing but it's just so nice to fly out so I remember this game actually so the Seahawks here he you know I don't know what he's going for uh, but I take a shot and I actually get a kill and for these games I believe I'm using stock ammunition so perhaps with their targets you get to more consistent um, kills um, but I'm not, I don't know, I'm not too sure so you see there's another Seahawk there um, he's bullying the G91 I don't know how it worked out um, because G91 should have just been able to pull away as I do later on in this match there's also a MiG-15 behind me now the MiG-15 I believe I am faster than the MiG-15 but I don't really want to test it and also it seems that like I'm more maneuverable as well than the MiG-15 um, so I don't know maybe but I just go down and I just extend away I know basically if I run towards my team I should have cover and you can see yeah, I'm so cocky even again it's about just to delete a few applications Oh look, they're shooting behind me. Oh wow. It's a MiG-15 and those cannons are tough to aim. Um, I used to play a lot with the German one. I even go for the artillery as well for that. I used to play the German MiG-15 and I got so annoyed by the cannons, so annoyed. And then I got the MiG-19 and I was like, wait. Those cannons are also really annoying to, fight, uh, to fire and to aim. But anyway, enough about me, what about this plane? M163, I hate fighting it, it's just because it's so small. Like, how do you aim at something that small? It's ridiculous. So I asked my team, okay, please can you kill the guy? Uh, they uh, ignore me. G9 to 1R3, see how close my shots were. Um, like I said, let's have to sort out a few aiming issues. This usually happens when I get a new plane. It's like aiming and I play so many different planes as well so I play this I play MiG-19 the Hunter all of these have different you know aiming patterns so it's difficult when you play something to adjust again but either way as you can see I bait uh, a few people out and the team doesn't capitalize like they should have just taken um, you know a kill got the kill uh, but you uh, know I know the Amiga City does have hard to aim cans, so I go for the cool reversal. Uh, again, I just miss. So hey ho. And here I am, okay, I know I might be faster than 15, settle myself down. Uh, Seahawks behind me, no big deal, I just outpace him. Uh, all very nice. And then I see this, and I die. So all in all, I think uh, the G91 R3 is an excellent plane, it's very nice to fly out and it's very enjoyable now like I said there's a couple of things to like, watch out your energy retention isn't exactly the best and uh, your speed isn't also the best so as long as you fly this plane you know smart use the cannons well then you should be fine this isn't like a hard plane to fly out it's actually quite simple like maybe you might even get a talisman on it oh, maybe not that's quite expensive uh, so yeah I hope you enjoyed the video, hope to see you soon and uh, goodbye.